In today's video, we're talking all about my rise in Dota 2K23 as we've got brand new details on this year's stories, their settings and brand new gameplay. Before we get to that though, if you're new to the channel, I've been posting a lot of early gameplay and I've got more dropping all the way up till release, so if you want to stay up to date with all the new reveals, then please do hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss out on any new videos. So let's talk my rise in WWE 2K23, which for anyone that skipped last year's game was the new name that was given to my career as the mode was rebranded in 2K22 under the new name My Rise. Much like last year's game, My Rise in WWE 2K23 takes on a similar approach and it offers players the choice of two stories to play through, one focused on the women's side, which is titled The Legacy, and one focused on the men, which is titled The Lock. To give you an overview of the two stories, should you opt to play through the lock, then this story sees you take on the role of an independent wrestler who is newly signed to WWE, though rather than start your career in NXT, instead you'll be starting on the main roster as part of Monday Night Raw. This fast track path to Raw sees the mode start with a teaser promo for the upcoming debut of the lock, which is the new name and gimmick that you're given when signing with WWE. While the name The Lock may sound a little cheesy, it's something that the story is self-aware of as the dialogue sees the player question the gimmick and why they couldn't debut under their regular name, which is a question that I would imagine comes up quite often whenever a new star signs with WWE. I've been, I've been meaning to talk to you about that whole The Lock thing, by the way. I, can, can I just use the name I've used my entire career? I mean, that's, that's how the rest of the world knows me. Yeah. yeah. But that's, but that's not, not how the, the WWE, WWE Universe knows you. Following the promo for The Lock, the story sees you make your debut by interrupting Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn, who then becomes your first rival in the story as you battle over the Intercontinental Championship. Switching over to The Legacy, the women's story sees you playing as newcomer LJ, who is newly signed to Dota V and set to make her main roster debut, however the way this story differs to the men's story is that LJ is the niece of a beloved WWE legend and Hall of Famer, therefore in this story you'll attempt to follow in your aunt's footsteps and forge your own path in WWE. One of the coolest things about the Legacy story is that it starts out in the Ruthless Aggression era where you take control of LJ's aunt. Because of this, the opening cutscene sees you walking through the backstage area in the time of the Ruthless Aggression era, therefore you'll notice several stars from that period, such as Stone Cold drinking a beer, Triple H hanging out with Stephanie, and even the prototype John Cena. Following the backstage cutscene, you take control of Auntie Justine as she tells the story of how she faced her rival Molly Holly in an attempt to win her first Women's Championship. After playing the historical match with Molly, the story then jumps back to the present day where Kylie arrives at Survivor Series ahead of her main roster debut, only to find that Justine's old rival Molly Holly is now in charge, which should make for an interesting dynamic between Molly and LJ given Molly's rivalry with Justine. Taking a look at some of this year's new features, one of the best new additions is the ability to import and export your MyPlayer, as this year, rather than you have to create a character from scratch when starting out, the developers have included a new import option that allows you to import a custom superstar. This option is a great addition for players that want to get straight into the mode but want a good looking character, as you can now download a custom superstar from Community Creations and then import that character into My Rise. Along with the ability to import characters, players will be glad to know that there's also an option to export their My Player, as the developers have listened to the feedback from players about how they wanted to be able to export their characters, as one of the biggest complaints over the last few years has been from players that made their character in My Rise and weren't able to export it, meaning they then had to recreate it again and create a superstar. So thankfully this year in 2K23, that's no longer a problem, as players can now export their characters whenever they want. On the subject of creating a character, it's also worth noting that the changes to create a superstar play a big part in My Rise, as this year there have been several improvements to the creation suite that see new base models and face templates include realistic textures, therefore if you want to quickly create a character so that you can dive straight into the mode, the character that you create is a huge improvement over what we've seen in the past, which visually looks a lot more on par with the WWE superstars. For fans looking to gain the most out of My Rise, you'll be glad to know that the mode comes with a whole host of branching options that, depending on your choice, will see the story unfold in different ways, making each playthrough slightly different depending on your choices. 
In terms of match types, it's also been confirmed that My Rise will feature exclusive match types that aren't available in exhibition, though it's not been confirmed which match types those are. Taking a look at some of the WWE superstars that appear in My Rise, you'll notice that the mode includes new modern day versions of both Shawn Michaels and Molly Holly, as like last year, My Rise comes with some exclusive character models that are initially locked to that mode. Upon hearing that, I'm sure there's a lot of people wondering if these models will be unlockable when playing through the story, and while I can't say for definite, I do know that there are some superstars that can be unlocked through my rise, as you may have noticed that the selection screen video I posted was missing some legends, as some of them need to be unlocked when playing through the story. The good news though is that it does appear to be extra versions of superstars in My Rise that can be unlocked in exhibition as scrolling through the list of superstars on the roster screen notes Mighty Molly as the manager for the Hurricane so it looks like we'll have a few versions of superstars that have yet to be announced. On the subject of unlockables, it's not just superstars that can be unlocked through the mode as there's also additional arenas and creation parts to unlock as completing certain story elements and side quests will see you unlock additional content with one example being the Raw 2002 arena which you can unlock by completing the first match in the Legacy story. Other unlockables that are included in the mode include a brand new WWE Live arena as the developers have also included the arena setup that's used during live events. As for the presentation of My Rise, the mode is set up the same as it was last year where you'll be able to talk to various superstars backstage to help further the story and set up matches with each of these interactions including voiceovers from the WWE superstars. Hey! Welcome to Smackdown! Also returning is the inclusion of a social media hub that is presented in a similar manner to Twitter with this feed featuring various superstars commenting on the latest events with some of these interactions also leading to side quests and bonus matches where you can unlock additional content. Overall, from what I played of my rise, I really enjoyed it and I like the difference between the settings of the stories, especially the women's career with the elements that are set in the past, as I think if you grew up watching WWE during the Ruthless Aggression era, then you're really going to appreciate seeing stars from that time period popping up backstage, as well as all the little differences to the backstage area as the developers have changed some of the more modern elements like the flat screen TVs and then replaced them with older CRT monitors. So that's an overview of this year's My Rise and the story choices that are available, but if you want to get more of a preview for the mode, I've uploaded the first chapter of the men's career on my channel and Revolution has posted the first hour of the women's career on hers, therefore I'll link both videos at the end of this one on screen and in the description for anyone that wants to see more. In the meantime though, let me know what you think of My Rise in the comments and which of the stories you'll be playing through first. Have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later. Wow.